What's going on guys and welcome to another episode of Takizi TV. Today I got something a little bit different for you. I'm going to show you how to plumb a portable deck well. Live well, bait well, whatever you want to call it. Put it this way. I'm plumbing this thing for my boat to catch more bait. That way when I go out there and we go to Sabiki some baits or cast net a bunch of baits for some upcoming trips, I'll have twice the amount of deck space. This is a 50 gallon molar live well. You can buy it off Amazon. And all these pieces, there's only about 10 total parts. We're gonna slap them all together here and show you guys how to set up a portable deck well for your bait fish. But the most important thing that this thing's gonna have is this Venturi air vent. This is gonna allow max oxygen or aeration to the bottom of the well to keep those baits nice and healthy and fresh while you're transporting them. Let's get to it. All right, let's dive in and let's get the plumbing in. So I've already put this in my boat once, the new LTB, and kind of figured out where I want it to be on the boat when I'm using it. And I want it right behind the rocket launcher right in the center of the boat in the back. That way we're able to read the depth finder and we can be reading that as well as dropping from the back, which is the easiest point of access on a boat to drop Sabiki's back. So I know I want this in the back, but here's one thing is that there is a plug on it and I don't want this plug, although you think, oh, I want it facing the back back. I don't want this plug rubbing against my fiberglass. So I want this plug on the side of it, on the port side facing port side, left side of the boat. So. First thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and install my overflow. If you look, I've already put the screen on it. The screen you can find and this through hole right here, both made of PVC materials. You can find these at your local marine stores. Um, this is gonna be my overflow, my high water level. Uh, but one thing is because we are putting the Venturi vent in, I need to have a little bit of air up here. So I'm gonna have to mount this thing lower about right here. So, so let's go ahead and get this thing set in. Gotta do it quick. Pop it in, pop it out. There you go. Alrighty, nice fit. Just slid right in there. All right guys, so we're back. If you're wondering why I'm wearing a different shirt and a different pair of board shorts, it's because yesterday when we were building this, I happened to break the little bit of a drill bit that is there for the boring bit. So I gave up for the night, called my neighbor, he got me another set, another boring bit. So now we're back in action. We've already got the overflow put in. Now we're gonna put the intake where the water comes in at. Um, same side, just gonna put it up a little bit higher and offset it just a little bit. That way the hose runs back towards the back of the boat. All right, so I'm gonna want it about right there. All right. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and now we're gonna hook up this Venturi vent. Put it through like this. All right, intake's in. Exhaust is in. We got the intake put in with the Venturi vent. We're gonna go ahead and finish up this Venturi vent. It comes with this black aerator hose right here. Pretty simple. Just go ahead and plug it into this little port right here. Bingo bada boom. Now you want this running on the outside and you don't want to bring it back into the live well down low because it will leak. So you want to bring it back in up top up here. So this is the vent right here and it's gonna be sticking out just like that. I'm gonna try to have it up as high as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the black hose right in through there. Probably have to make that hole a little bit bigger. All right, let's see if it will fit through there. I doubt it. Nope, a little bit bigger. All right. We got her in. So now go ahead and just pull this hose through your hole right here. Nice long hose, a lot of extra to play with here. We don't need it all, so we're gonna go ahead and just tighten it up like this. Bingo bada boom. Now we're gonna go ahead and install our air vent, the max air. This is gonna be sticking on the outside and I'm gonna wanna hug the top of the well as much as possible. Remember, we left a little bit of air space in between it. That way it could get the oxygen that it needs. So, put it about right. Just like that. All right, now I'm gonna come around from the back side. I'm gonna plug it in. Clip off the extra. All right, so we got the Venturi vent hooked up. So we got the intake, the overflow, the Venturi vent. That's it, a couple of small holes. Now we're gonna go ahead and hook up the plumbing for this. That way we can route it all up. 
All right, let's go ahead and take care of the overflow first. Got my overflow, got my exhaust hose, got my hose clamp. There we go. All right, got my hose clamp. Just gonna go ahead and tighten that hose clamp down. This is for the overflow that will go out over the side of the boat. That's all done. And that right there will hang out over the side of the boat and the overflow water will rush out and go right over the side. So now that the overflow is hooked up, let's go ahead and put the intake on. Hose clamps, hose fitting, hose. All right, let's go ahead and put the hose onto the intake. Fits on just like this. Put your hose clamp on. All right, so now for the other side, that's what we'll, this is what will connect to my raw water wash down. Hose clamp, connection. All right, the bib's on there nice and snug. Now we're gonna go ahead and tighten up our hose clamp. All right, she's good to go. So now that I got it all put together, it's time to go ahead and seal her up. We're gonna put some 5200 on the hole right here for the overflow, some 5200 down here, and we're gonna seal up this Venturi vent hose hole right here with some more 5200, and then just take a little bit of that hose tape to put on the threads right here. That way it's nice and tight and secure, and it's not gonna leak. I got it where I want it to be, and we're gonna perma-fix it now. That way she's good to go. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward to do. Like I said, you're only boring out two holes, one for your intake, one for your exhaust, and then you're using a small drill bit for your Venturi vent hose and your max air outflow right here. Other than that, very, very easy to do, not time consuming at all, as long as you got the right tools and you get all the parts first stop. She's ready to rock, we're gonna seal her up. Let's go see if she can hold some bait here. We'll see you guys on the water here in a little bit. We're gonna go out and try to catch some pilchards. All right, so we got the live well on the boat. There we go, putting a new live well to use, new live wells on the boat. We got it hooked up, pumping, pump, it's pumping salt water good. We're out here at one of the bait patches. I had to comb a couple, bait's been real tough recently, but if you look at the screen, we got them on, baby. Yeah, it's thick down there. Oh, we're running out of them now. Oh, we on them now. Now that's what the screen's supposed to look like when you're on bait. Man, bait's been tough, but we are finally got them on, baby. Hopefully they're all jumbos.
live well in the morning, caught some pilchards and put it to good use in the afternoon. Wasn't easy, but they're finally back and the bait fish is getting a little bit better here. So looks like we got some bait for the next few trips. Thanks guys for watching. If you got any questions, put in the comment box below. Other than that, make sure you subscribe and take it easy.